University for our campus tour with my little ones who will be going to college soon in a few years. They got a few years, but well, we are here. Bowie! First campus tour. Let's go. Look at the merch. You want to go in there? Yeah. Okay, go ahead. You only want the bookstore going? That's that's a merch store, not the bookstore. Oh, we'll say bookstore, so I guess you're right. I'll come. I'll come along. Hello. Good. Home of the Bulldogs. Oh, they got a whole lot of unpacking to do for the books. Because mm -hmm. stuff for when you, you know, you're on campus, the things that you need, like chargers and memory cards and all that oh i should get some of this i need this i need this for home <laughs> i need some keyboard cleaner for home oh okay oh they might be yeah she's over there all right let me see let's see <laughs> Oh, right there. Okay. You're welcome. Yeah, every, every major, uh, like every major has like their own building. Oh, that's good. That's a big campus. Every major got yeah, a building. Yeah, computer science, right behind, that's like nursing, biology, math, professional studies. They have, everyone has like their own building where they have like. And those dorm rooms over here? Yep. Mm hmm. Yeah, so that's our fun and perform the art center or just what we call FPAC for short. So in here, this is where we have like all of like our art majors, so like um animation, photography, theater, dance, uh, anything arts related is all in that building. Uh -huh. So in our basement, not really like a basement floor, but like the first floor, this is where we have like our coffee studios, we have sculpture and ceramics, uh, painting, drawing, anything like that. Uh, on our second floor, this is where we have like our theaters. So we have like our Black Box Theater. Mm -hmm. uh, this is just a small theater that some of our theater majors use instead of taking like um, sending off a traditional classroom. They just use that. Uh, right next to it, we have our John Warwick Theater. Uh, this is like a big theater that we use for like uh, on campus productions, uh, which are student made and are free for all students. Ooh, but if they are off campus, we do have to take them to our campus. Off campus. And then 
on the third floor, this is where we also do have counseling services for all students. Uh, with counseling services, there are they are certified uh, psychologists and psychiatrists. But uh, if you are a psychology major, you can also go in there and work and do like an uh, internship. Yeah. You can do like a uh, work study here on campus, anything like that. So it's like each major have job opportunities and yep. work study opportunities here on campus. That's good. Uh, to y'all right, right behind y'all, this is also where we have Gregor Marshall Library. So the stuff from our bottom up in our basement floor, this is where we have the Office for Academic Advising. So they help everyone between their freshman and their sophomore year because between those two years is when you're taking like your general ed classes. Mm -hmm. So they'll consist of like an English class, math, history, science, anything like that. Uh, but uh, you'll basically be assigned one according to what your last name is. But once you become an upperclassman, like a junior and a senior, this is when you're going to start taking classes that are more for your major. And instead of having an academic advisor, you're basically going to have someone who's like a professor or department head, according to what your major is. Yeah, so this is Harriet Tubman Residence Hall, or this what we call Tubman for short. This is actually one of our oldest buildings. Yeah. Next to Charlotte Robinson Hall, this is one of our oldest buildings that we have here on campus. So it's about like 150 years old. Oh my uh, we call goodness. it Tubman because this is supposedly the building that Harriet Tubman did pass through when she was escaping as well. What? Yeah. So imagine having like all your yeah. classrooms, your dorm rooms, and your cafeteria in one building. This used to be this building until they just made it into like a full dorm building. Oh, wow. That's good history right there. She passed through on her way. So this is one of our all-female freshman dorm. Mm -hmm. uh, with this is also considered, considered traditional and also community style. So everyone does have to share bathrooms, kitchens, and laundry rooms with everyone in the one building. Okay. Uh, with all of our residence hall, on each floor, we're all assigned RAs, and that's resident assistants, and they are upperclassmen here on campus. So that's anyone between sophomore and senior. And then we also do have RDs assigned to each building. So that's a resident director and they are staff members here on campus. So if we have any problems with like our roommate, broken furniture, anything like that, we report that to our RA. But is there anything serious where we have like broken elevators, broken appliances, like in the kitchen, laundry room, anything like that, mm -hmm. we report that to our RD. Yeah, so now we get into the Greek line. <laughs> the so Greek right line. in front of Tubman, this is the plot of Delta Sigma Theta Sorority Incorporated. And this middle plot right behind them, this is the plot of Sigma Gamma Lamma National Sorority. And this is for all of our Latina but also Caribbean Island students as well. And our black and white all the way in the back, this is Group 5 Group Social Fellowship. And I have to say this in quotes, this is a fraternity here on campus. Mm -hmm. And our blue and white, this is Zeta Phi Beta Sorority Incorporated, but also Phi Beta Sigma Fraternity Incorporated. In the D9 world, they share the same plot because they are considered brother and sister. Mm -hmm. uh, right behind me, in our brown and gold, this is the plot of Iota Phi Theta Fraternity Incorporated. And then once we walk past coming all the way in the back in our purple and gold, there's Omega Psi Phi Fraternity Incorporated as well. They got their own little grounds. Get to that one. Oh, the, okay. They gotta be AKA. Yep. Mm -hmm. So, to talk about Greek life here, everyone is required to have a 2.7 GPA. They must have a minimum of 24 credits and they also must attend this thing called Greek 101. Uh, that's just basically coordinating with the office of Greek life. So, everyone just comes together. They talk about what's like to be a part of Greek life, um, any requirements or any questions that we may have at the time. That's like the perfect time to be so. Yeah. Uh, things that we're not allowed to do, we're not allowed to step on their plots unless we invite about one of the members or they're having an event that day. We're not allowed to do any of their hands, such as their strolls or their calls. Uh, we they find us doing any of that here on campus. We're basically blacklisted from joining any of them. Oh. Right. Uh, being discreet is also very important. Uh, as you can see, Bowie is not really a big school. We are very small and everyone knows everyone here. Uh, so they're basically staff members. Um, RAs, RDs, their professors, they're mm -hmm. basically everywhere here on campus. So it's just best to tell one trusted person, not your roommate, not your best friend, just one trusted person and that's it. Mm -hmm. So to your left, this is the Don McKellum Gymnasium, or just what we call the small gym for short. Uh, in here, this is where we do like intramural sports. So we do like basketball, we do yoga, kickboxing, and we also do spin classes as well. Uh, if you're interested in starting your own, all you have to do is just talk to the uh, athletic director and they can just help you set your um, set you up with like equipment, classes, schedule, and anything like that. 
Express. This is Lee Nice as Jane's Physical Education Complex, or just what we call the Big Gym. So in here, this is where we do like our uh, new student orientation. We have our winter graduation. We also do have our homecoming concerts, basketball games, and volleyball games as well. Okay. Uh, we do have a full workout gym for all students who want to work out here on campus. Uh, it's completely free. Uh, they do just say keep in mind when basketball and football season are around because that's when it's the most crowded. Uh, in this part right over here, this is also where we have a full-size swimming pool. Uh, with the swimming pool, it's completely free for all students, but also the general public as well. Okay. So we offer free swim classes, we have open swim hours, and then we also do have a swim club as well. Uh, they also do offer students lifeguard uh, work, uh, work studies here on campus, but if you would like to become a lifeguard, you can also do all the classes and certification as well. Uh, and these white pillows, this is where we have Holmes Hall. And then right next to it, this is where we have Pinar. These are our two all-male freshman dorms. Oh. Right behind the big gym, in this big plot right here, this is the plot of Alpha Phi Alpha Fraternity Incorporated. Right next to them is also where we have our outdoor track and field area, which is open 24-7. But I do just say keep in mind when they are practicing, just so we don't get in their way. Uh, in okay. the white box, all the way in the back, this is also where we have Bulldog Stadium. And this is where we have our spring graduation and football games as well. Uh, right in front of the Alpha Plot in this uh, building right over here, this is Towers Residence Hall, and this is our other all-female freshman dorm. So to your left, in between the bushes, this is just basically what we call the bonus center. Uh, it's just basically like a mini patient first that we have here on campus. So if we need to do any type of uh, vaccinations, medication, or testing, it's completely free for all students. Mm -hmm. So we don't need to do a copay or show any type of insurance. Good. Some more plots that we have in our blue and gold, this is the plot of Sigma Gamma Rho Sorority Incorporated. In our green and yellow, this is Chi Eta Phi Nursing Sorority, but also fraternity for all of our nursing students. In our oh. pink and green, this is also where we have Alpha Kappa Alpha Sorority Incorporated. And then in our red and white, this is Kappa Alpha Psi Fraternity Incorporated. This is what we call CMRC. Uh, this is our other off-campus housing that's only for our upperclassmen. So between our first and our fourth floor, this is where we house all of like our upperclassmen, like such as like SGA. Mm -hmm. We have CAB athletes, but also regular students as well. Mm -hmm. But on the fifth floor, this is automatically where we put all of our honor students. Okay. So with CMRC is also what we call the apartments because they are apartment style inside. The other one does have their own bedrooms, bathrooms, they have their full uh, kitchens and laundry, um, lounge areas as well. But they do have to share laundry rooms on either side of the building. Okay. The upper class has got to get. Uh, on the first floor, they actually do have their own mail room. They have their own gym and they also do have like their own little lounge area with like uh, just like with the Science Student Center, they have like their own pool table, arcade games, vending machines, all of that. Okay. So this is the Center for Mathematics, Natural Science, Mathematics, and Nursing, or just what we call Natural Science for short, or Nursing Building. Mm -hmm. So on this first floor, this is where we have half classrooms and half labs. On the second floor, this is where we have the Nursing Department. And then on the third floor, this is where we have Natural Science Department, but also Math as well. So with the classrooms a little bit, as you can see on the second floor on this side where they are frosted out, uh, they do that if we are like a distraction out here or they just want a little bit of privacy yeah. where they can just frost it out where we can't see inside but they can see out here. Oh. Uh, with the classroom right behind y'all where the projector is, we also do have mics which are fully equipped. So if you are a soft-spoken person, all you have to do is just click the button on the house or on the button and all you have to do is just click it. Everyone in the whole classroom can hear you. And I just say this is like the nicest building. Mm -hmm. It really is. I love coming in here. Not because of the air. This is just it's nice. Uh, on the second floor, like I said, this is also where we have our nursing department. Uh, so they have basically lock simulations of everything. So they have like bleeding out, cardiac arrest, giving birth, and the newest one that they actually added speaks about like seven different languages. And then on the third floor, this is where we have our natural science department, but also math department as well. 
uh, with the math department, we had an own math tutoring. So it was all the way from like an elementary school math to like uh, pre-calculus and statistics. Um, there's either a math professor or a math um, math major in there, always ready to help. Uh -huh. Back to the students in the... At last, oh, my body's so amazing. Baby, I'm talking crazy. I get you out of my space, but I need it. Baby, I'm late, but I need to check in with you. I know that I need my friends, but I wouldn't want to leave. You know, I wouldn't want to bleed. My heart, my mind, and my body. Tour. All right. So, do y'all have any final questions about anything? Mm -hmm.